Hello and welcome to this edition of the Angels and Destiny show. Why is this show called this, you may ask? So I'll tell you, the accepted meaning of angel is messenger and the accepted meaning of destiny is to make firm establish. And my guests and I help you establish what you need to know in the present. And also I like working with angels and the calmness they bring. Now, as you can guess, I'm not in the studio and I'm not live. Oh, I'm going to say shoot, I'm not in my, in my, uh, in my room and I'm not live. And um, this is a pre-recorded guided meditation, so I don't actually have a guest today. Um, and as you can see, I've got a lamp. And this is because this guided meditation is actually being held in Glastonbury at the Chalice Well. Um, and when I do the guided meditation, if you do happen to one, I will be um, putting the camera around. So it's actually um, on one of the um, one of one of the um, shrines here um, at the. Uh, at the uh, Glastonbury uh, well. Um, so yes, yeah, so I'm going to do a guided meditation. I have no idea this month where this meditation is actually going to take us. Um, we've been working a lot with elementals, dragons, uh, white spring, red spring. So who knows where this guided meditation will actually take you in the end. So um, as always with all my guided meditations, um, you just need to close your eyes, make sure you're not doing anything that could, um, like driving or operating heavy machinery, that you're in somewhere safe, secure, that you can relax, either sitting down or lying down. And you, you'll just need to close your eyes, listen to the meditation, take, let the journey take you wherever it takes you. Um, if you follow, follow the guide, then you follow the guide. If you don't follow the guidance and you go into a completely different world, then that's absolutely fine. If you fall asleep, again, that's absolutely fine. Um, and you can obviously always watch this at any time um, that you want. Now, for those that don't know me, my name is Ray, and I help women to crossroads in their life, heal their past, create their future, transform their present, so they can take control of destiny in the here and now. I'm the founder of Radiant Angel Energy, and I use angelic Reiki, future life progression, past life regression, angel cards, meditation, hypnosis, to help women who feel lost get clear on their destiny. Um, so if you're all ready, I think we're going to start. So um, just bear with me whilst I swing the camera around and then we'll start. So if you want to close your eyes and as you do, Take a deep breath in and on the out breath, just let go of anything that doesn't need to be in this space at this time. Take another deep breath in and on the out breath again, just let go of anything that doesn't need to be here at this time. And just continue breathing and allow your breath to fall into a natural flow and rhythm. Of every in breath relaxing you more and more, and every out breath just allowing you to let go of anything that doesn't need to be in this space at this time. And as you breathe gently and easily, just imagine, see, know, or feel a beautiful golden ball of light above your head. It's a beautiful golden ball of pure, relaxing, safe, healing energy. And just allow, see, feel, imagine or know this beautiful, golden, relaxing, safe, healing energy. Just flow down and feel your aura completely as it moves further in and fills your body, every single cell and membrane around your body. Just feel this beautiful, relaxing, healing, safe, golden light fill every part of you. And now I want you to see, feel, imagine and know this beautiful golden light filling your whole of your head as you feel your whole head start to relax. Relaxing the top of your head, the back of your head, your ears, your brow, 
your temples, your eyes feeling so heavy and relaxed, your nose, your cheeks, your mouth, your jaw just relaxing totally and completely. How wonderful it feels to let your jaw just relax as this beautiful golden light moves down into your neck and you feel your whole neck relaxing your throat, the back of your neck breathing so easily as this beautiful golden light now moves down into your shoulders as you feel your shoulders totally relaxed it's like warm sunshine just glowing down onto your shoulders as this beautiful golden energy moves further down your arms as you feel your upper arms relax your elbows your lower arms your wrists your hands your fingers totally and utterly relax and now this beautiful relaxing golden light moves into your upper body and you feel your whole chest area start to relax as this feeling of relaxation moves down to your stomach and you feel all your stomach muscles starting to relax as this beautiful relaxing energy moves into your back and the whole of your back starts to relax and as your back relaxes you find your spine relaxing vertebrae by vertebrae by vertebrae such relaxation in your upper body as this beautiful relaxing energy moves further down and you feel your hips relax, your pelvis relax, your buttocks relax as you sink deeper into the chair or the floor. As this beautiful relaxing light moves further down and you feel your thighs relaxing, your knees relaxing your calves, your shins, your ankles, your feet and your toes, all totally relaxed. And this beautiful feeling of relaxation is so wonderful and safe. And now I want you to safely imagine know yourself at the top of a beautiful staircase. It's a staircase of your own design and making and can look safely imagine any way you wish. And there are 10 wide, safe, comfortable steps leading down to a doorway. And in a moment you're going to walk down these 10 safe, comfortable steps of the staircase of your own design and making. And each descending number from 10 to 1 will take you deeper into relaxation. So if you're ready now, take a step off the stair 10, going down the stairs 9, deeper down the stairs 8, Deeper down the stairs seven, deeper down the stairs six, feeling more and more relaxed. Deeper down the stairs five, deeper down the stairs four, deeper down the stairs three. How wonderfully safe and relaxed you feel. Deeper down the stairs two. All the way down the stairs one and now you step off the bottom step and stand in front of a door again it's the door of your own design and making and can look safely imagine any way you wish and now if this door is locked you can unlock it 
The door is unlocked, you can open it. The door is open and you can step right through. And as you do, you turn back round to face the door. Now this is your doorway and you are the only energy that will ever come in and out. So you can decide to leave the door open. You can close the door or you can close and lock the door. The choice is yours. And now you turn round and you see that you're in a beautiful ancient forest. It's a forest of the most magnificent trees you've ever seen. And you can feel their strength and power. And you notice in front of you a beautiful crystal path. And it's a crystal path made up of one or many different types of crystals and you notice that as this path leads through this beautiful ancient forest that you may notice grass in the open spaces maybe there's some flowers as you notice that there's a sun in the sky that just comes through the gaps in the leaves of the trees. And you notice that through those gaps the sky is a beautiful blue. And you feel the warmth on your skin, the dampness of the ancient forest. And maybe the sounds of insects or birds the smell of flowers or grass or trees or moss. And so you're now going to start walking along this crystal path. This crystal path that will take you on the journey deeper into the forest, taking you deeper into relaxation and the path that will bring you back to the door when the journey is near completion. So start walking along this crystal path now, deeper into the forest, past these beautiful ancient trees full of knowledge and wisdom, feeling so safe and secure, each step relaxing you more and more, grounding you, feeling so wonderfully relaxed and present as you walk further and deeper into the forest with the sounds and the sun occasionally peeking through and you just continue walking deeper and deeper through this forest and in the distance you can hear the sound of running water gentle running water and you realize that the path is taking you towards this sound. So continue along this beautiful crystal path towards the sound of this water through this beautiful ancient forest. And as you get closer, you notice in the middle of this forest, a beautiful spring spring of water flowing beautiful clear water along and you can hear the sound of the water and you can feel the dampness around and maybe the sun's just peeking through the leaves of the trees making the water glisten as it flows along And if you want, you can put your hands in the water. You can drink some of the water. You can put it on your face. Or you can stand in the water if you want to take off your shoes. The choice is yours and I'll leave you for a moment. Or you can just stand and watch the water as it flows.
And as you watch the water flowing or you wash your hands or you take a sip, you see how wonderful it feels. You feel absolutely wonderful with this water. It's so refreshing, like renewing yourself, healing yourself, giving you a beautiful feeling, a beautiful energy. And you feel so wonderful now. When you decide to walk further along the crystal path, as you can quite easily step over this water that's flowing down onto the other side, onto your crystal path that continues through this forest. So you continue deeper into the forest, relaxing more and more. And as you go further and further into the forest, you notice in the distance that there's some kind of cave that's got beautiful torches all around the cave entrance. And it feels so welcoming to go in. So you step off your crystal path and you walk into this welcoming cave that's beautifully lit with wonderful orange torches. The orange and yellow and blue glow just making it seem so surreal, so beautiful. And maybe there are fireflies just starting about creating little beams of light. As you walk deeper into the cave and as you walk deeper in you can hear a noise. It sounds like it's a rumbling noise and you can feel the vibration through your feet. But it's a nice vibration that makes you feel grounded and safe. So you walk towards this sound, getting louder and louder, but it's not uncomfortable. It is absolutely beautiful sound, this rumbling. And as you get closer, you realize that it's coming from a dragon, a beautiful dragon that you're not afraid of in any way, shape or form. And again, it's a dragon that may be green, may be black, may be white, may be yellow, may be any other colour. And you instinctively know that this is the dragon who will be working with you and you'll be working with the dragon. And as you stand there looking at the dragon, it opens one eye lazily to look at you. And then the other eye opens and you find yourself staring into the eyes of the dragon that has chosen to work with you. And you feel an instant connection as you look into your dragon's eyes and your dragon looks into your eyes and you feel a sense of overwhelming love from this dragon and you send out unconditional love from your heart towards the dragon as the two energies combine as one beautiful unconditional love and your dragon starts to uncurl itself and you realize that the cave is very high. As the dragon just leans up and stretches, but doesn't quite feel the cave as the cave is so vast. 
and the dragon, your dragon, brings its head closer to you. And you can feel the heat from its breath. Not uncomfortable, but nice and relaxing. And now you instinctively know what your dragon is saying. It may speak to you. It may send you images. You may just know what it's saying. But the dra your dragon is communicating with you. And you can ask it any questions that you wish. Any guidance that you wish. But most importantly, you need to ask how you can work with the dragon, not only for your own growth, but for the growth and healing of others and the planet and all energy, especially the energy of the light. And I'll leave you now for a moment or two to spend time with your dragon just communicating in whichever way is easy for you. And if your dragon, you don't get any communication but you just want to bask in the unconditional love, that's absolutely fine for now. You'll either continue sitting in this cave with your dragon, basking in your mutual understanding and love with each other, or your dragon may take you on a journey to somewhere on this planet that needs some help and some love and some healing now. So allow the dragon to take you on this journey in whichever form your dragon wishes to take. Whether it's just transferring energy, it's sending energy, or it's you travelling with your dragon, or your dragon may invite you on its back, or it may carry you in its claws between you and your dragon and the mutual respect and understanding for each other 
and just allow your dragon to take you on that journey. It may not be to a place. It may just be to somewhere in your life that you need to heal at this moment in time so that you can continue on your path and work with the dragon in light and love. And in a moment, it'll be time for you to return back to the cave. So just finish off where you are on this journey. You will now have seen where you need to do some healing, whether it's in your own life or whether it's to do with the planet or maybe it was somewhere else and now you journey back with your dragon back to the cave Remembering everything about this journey and your communication with your dragon. And you know that you can find your dragon in this cave at any time. Or if you wish, you can call on your dragon any time so that you two can work together work together in light and love and unity. And you send beautiful, grateful energy from your heart to your dragon. As you feel the beautiful connection between you both. Now it's time for you to leave the cave. But you leave the cave with the unconditional love and respect that you have with your dragon. And you start walking back through the cave, back through this passageway with beautiful torches that are shining, orange, yellow, red, bluish light with fireflies just starting, flitting backwards and forwards. Back to the mouth of the cave and back onto your crystal path 
the crystal path that is going to take you back to your door through this beautiful ancient forest. So you start walking back along your crystal path, back through this ancient forest, feeling a deep connection with earth and with your dragon. And before you know it, you're at that little stream of water. And there's that stream of water. You might notice fairies just playing about in the water. Or maybe other elementals around. And it's such a beautiful, loving, joyful energy and you feel so much love and joy completely filling you and as you step over this stream of water you thank the fairies, the elementals for allowing you to feel this energy to even see them as you continue walking back along your crystal path, back through this ancient forest, with all the smells and sounds of the forest, and all the ancient wisdom and knowledge of the trees, this coming grounding and keeping you in the present. And before you know it, you're back at your door, now, if you locked your door, you can unlock it. Your door is unlocked, you can open it. Your door is open and you can step right through. And as you do, you turn back to face your door. And remember, you are the only energy that will ever come in and out of this door. So you can leave it open. You can close it or you can close and lock it. The choice is yours.